Howdy, hey guys, Foxtail Senpai here, just kind of saying hi and stuff and proving to you that I am the most awkward human being you will ever meet. Um, I wanted to kind of make this video mm. to, would you please, shut up phone, go away. I wanted to make this video to kind of, I don't want to quite say celebrate my getting to 50 subscribers because I feel like that's it's kind of soon to celebrate and stuff like that but on the other hand that's 50 people who watch my videos who take the time to actually like you know pay attention to the art that I do and as a person who makes art and does that type of a thing it's a huge deal to me that there's 50 people that's a lot of people who, even though my videos are kind of short and not the greatest and they are, let's face it, pretty shitty, but I mean, it's, it's still astonishing to me that there's 50 people who want to watch my art. So without further ado, I will tell you about me. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but um, one of my biggest things, personally, is when I watch a YouTuber, I want to feel connected with that person. I want to look at them and go, you're a good person. I kind of, I kind of understand how you work, and I kind of understand how you feel. And it's, that's just my personal opinion. That's what I like. So I kind of want to give you guys that opportunity, because in the past... I've made videos where I talk and you can actually hear me say things, but either I'm apologizing for not uploading videos or I'm talking to my friends while doing a Let's Play or some sort of video like that. I've never actually sat down and talked to you. So I kind of wanted to do that. And um, I didn't script this out. I didn't plan this. I've been recording for literally like two hours. I've been trying to get myself to actually say what I want to say. So without further ado, I'm going to try my best and just believe in me. Believe. Believe harder. I need to feel it in my soul that you believe that I can say things that are intelligent. Um, to start off with, I am a nerd. I'm a, a just an awkward, like, nerdy girl who went to the midnight premieres of Harry Potter wearing my frickin', like, Harry Potter glasses and having a Hermione's wand with my hair all fluffed out. Um, I have read all of the Hobbit books and Lord of the Rings and all of that jazz and I watch anime. I have watched anime since I was too young to even say the word anime. Um, so that's that pretty much sums up me as just a blob of a human. Um, to kind of get more on like a personal type of a level, um, I started doing art when I was around nine years old because you know I have to talk about art because this is kind of what my channel mostly consists of um I saw my sister do art and she would draw just for fun and that kind of stuff and I loved it I thought it was the coolest thing ever that you could take those characters and you can draw them the way you wanted to draw them uh I also have this this deep love and fascination for animations and when I was little I would watch cartoons I would watch Disney movies I would watch all of that stuff and I I wouldn't even think about the movie itself I would look and go somebody drew that somebody sat down and drew those characters out and some of like the really really old animations like the really old Mickey Mouse cartoons and um, Roadrunner and all that kind of stuff those were practically like uh, flip book type notebook pad things that were drawn by somebody and that just 
fascinated the hell out of me. I wanted to do that. So, since I was nine years old, I practiced. And I taught myself everything I know about art. I had help along the way. Like, uh, I had a few art classes and stuff like that that taught me things that I wouldn't have known because I was like 10. But for the most part, I learned everything on my own. Um, I am a huge nerd, as I said before, and that got me bullied. I, for my entire life, have been bullied. And there was a point in time in my life, mostly from, uh, gosh, I don't know, early, like, kindergarten, I was bullied up until seventh grade was when I cared. I cared so much what people thought of me. I wanted everyone's approval. I wanted everyone to think that I was pretty. I wanted everyone to think that I was smart. I wanted to be good enough for everyone else. And um, one of the things I will never forget is when I was little, I had a Pikachu purse and had a little zipper on the back and I used to keep candies and things and like that. And I would carry it everywhere I went. And this included school. So you can imagine a tiny, like, Hermione Granger looking kid with braces and a Pikachu backpack walking around middle school with a lot of other kids who, let's face it, kids are mean, who, I was just, I was just a big old bullseye on the back of my frickin' head for bullying. And I just, I remember one day I kind of looked at everyone else in my class who teased me, who bullied me, who just, he would just say rude things. And I just kind of put down all of those words and all those things and I stopped caring. I stopped looking at those those words and the, the things and the, the way I looked and the way I dressed compared to everyone else and I just accepted the fact that I'm me. I'm a nerd. I like what I like. And those people who treat me badly and say rude things, they don't matter. Because at the end of the day, I'm still going to be me. I'm still going to look the way I look. I'm still going to dress the way I want to dress. And that's fine. It's wonderful. Um, so eighth grade up until ugh, like senior year, I had this boat of confidence, this confidence in myself that I could do something cool and be awesome and stuff like that. And I'm still young. I'm almost 20 years old. So, you know, I'm still growing, still learning, still a kid. I am still technically a teenager. So, you know, growing up, I'm a little baby bird, just a little itty bitty baby bird ready to blossom into a big bird so I can take flight with the tree full of other birds. I don't know why I keep making myself a bird. I'm more like a bunny with my nose. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> this was like an eight minute video of me rambling and saying stupid things. But hopefully I connected with you guys. Hopefully you can connect with me on some weird obscure level because I didn't go into big detail or anything like that but um maybe I opened up a door for you guys to comment and say hey I, I've been bullied I, I'm bullied I know where you're coming from or I like Pokemon because that's another thing I absolutely love Pokemon um anything Japanese I'm pretty much like that's the coolest thing ever so you know maybe I can continue making these videos. You guys just tell me if these videos are a thing that you want to see so we can connect and I can talk to you guys and tell you little little things about me, about my day, make video diaries. I don't know. No. Video diaries are weird. I'm not a vlogger. Ugh. But on another note, now that I'm actually going to be able to tell you these things, I don't know if I'm going to be able to update Speed Paints at the moment because my laptop is broken and I'm recording this on my iPad. That's why I'm showing my face 
and stuff like that and the lighting is bad and the sound is bad and all that kind of jazz but um yeah hopefully i'll be able to fix that soon so you know i don't know <laughs> How I always end these videos with the most awkward things to say before I just click the button and I'm like, <laughs> bye. But yeah, totally write in the comments below and tell me different things you connect on. All right, you know what? No, I'm going to end with a question. I'm going to ask you guys because I want to actually get some answers from you guys. Yeah, be a bad cop putting a light on your face being like, where were you on this day? Blah, 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 blah. All right, my question for you guys is what is your favorite TV show and why? So, yeah. Mwah. I love you guys. Bye.